Hi everyone. Let's take a look on the Seb Dream Booth so you can create your own custom images with Stability Fusion. The add on is going to be on the image editor too. And let's install it. Wait a little bit and let me grab the console, Blender console here. It's installing and here it is. You can take a look on the end panel and you can see that you also need to create the virtual environment and everything to work the same way as the SAB Stable Diffusion. So create the virtual environment. It's creating. The virtual environment is created. Now you have to install the Python packages. It will take a good while because it's a big package file. Now that you see that this part is finished, you can see uh, the blinking prompt. It means it finished. So you can close it, no problem. And these two parts that are needed to do, th that's the thing. Basically, with this that you already done, it's possible to run the Dream Booth, but it will need a lot of GPU memory VRAM to to run it. And this computer, I have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, the RAM from the GPU. And if I try to run Dream Booth, it won't run. It won't have enough memory to run it. So to make it run, I'll have to use the X form from the guys at Facebook. But to install it, I have to install a compiler. So these two parts, it's to make the memory needed to be lower and I think to run faster too. So these two parts take a long time to run. I'm gonna use the chronometer here to count the time that it will take because when showing this video I'm gonna speed up the process but you will still have a reference of the time needed. So let's start. First you have to install the JIT compiler and then install the XFORM. If you try to X do the XFORM first it will throw you an error. So let's start. Oh yeah, you have to, I forgot, there is a file that you have to use. It's gonna unpack it and make things ready for you to use. You can see here on the Blender console, it started showing the input and where it's going to install, unzip the, the files. That's Keep attention when it finishes, it's gonna show that it finished. About three minutes to unpack this, it's somewhat fast. And now, this part I think it takes more than. 15 minutes. So let's do it.
Look, it took basically nine minutes on my PC. I made a test on a virtual machine and took more than 15 minutes. But let's go to the other part. Here it 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 got to the end, so we can close this window too. Now we can use the Dream Booth. To use it, you need um, Stable Diffusion model, not the C P K T C. I don't remember the extension. You don't. You can't use those that file, that single file. You have to use the Stable Diffusion that is provided in a set of folders. And let me show here. It would be I have one here. Remove model. You have to use this kind of model. I'm providing this zip file with a model, and let's choose here path to SD model. Model, and you're going to see all these folders, and that's the right place. Now you have to choose the place that you are going to store the end result, the model that comes out when you custom it. I'm going to put in here. And Open the folder, choose it. Here you are going to put the path to the folder where you have your images. In this case I am using an example from the script that I have got. It has uh, several docs to train the dream booth and I'm going to use this folder with these files. Path to files, doc. Here is set. Now you have to choose a prompt that you're going to use to recall these images, the training that you've done. In this case I'm going to use a photo of I put uh, any it doesn't have to make sense some letters to make it easier to retrieve the image that I'm training um, dog so a photo of the XC dog it's gonna to replace some sort of or use that as reference this prompt uh, photo of dog it's somewhat from what I understood it works like this it's gonna to search this prompt and use it as reference to add the images that you're going to train so when you use this model that are going to come out as a result and you use this ZXC dog or something like that is going to retrieve those images or something like that. So, this is what we need to run to generate the model, the custom model. We just have to press run and I'm going to watch it here on the console, the progress of it. And let me start it too, just to. Um, I have it right here, so let's use it. Oh, one important thing. As I said, this this model it's using this way that I'm using. It's consuming about 24 gigs of RAM, of VRAM, the GPU RAM. And I say that because of the information that show up on this graph you can see that at a point it's gonna up there almost on the maximum 
and then it comes down. You see here it's about 14 gigabytes of RAM that it's using. Now you see the peak that I told. It went on 24 gigabytes. And now he's using about 20 gigabytes of VRAM. And it just finished about 12 minutes on this machine and we've got let me see where it is I added it here model out it's gonna create two files two two folders but the model that was created it's inside here but if you want to use on another program but if the program you're going to use doesn't use this kind of model if it uses that single file model well you have here a way to convert it to that file you just have to press here path by default it's gonna fill the name with the, the prompt that you used so let me put it over here I'm gonna use the same folder where I exported the, the model so create here and press export and it's gonna do its process it doesn't take long but this one it doesn't show a message you have to pay attention to when this button becomes gray again it's when the process finished or you can take a look on the folder it's gonna be here for now it has zero byte in it finished now the file is complete and to try what can we do we can use um, another program I'm, I'm using to test to test this I'm using web the automatic 11 I don't remember the name exactly because this model it's not actually working with the sub stable diffusion I'm gonna change the way I'm, I use the sub stable diffusion so I didn't bother to to try to fix that much so let's try here I'm gonna start the web UI from the automatic 11 11 11 to use I have to put this model in the same folder of the program it's in models stable diffusion and Oh, I have some tests here. Let me erase those older tests and let me add this new one I've done.
let's load this website. So to try, what I'm going to do is put the prompt, the original prompt, photo of dog, and we're going to use the default model from Simdiffusion at first, and I'm going to put the seed of uh, fixed seed so I can make the tests so here is the result with the default stable diffusion and let me see the prompt I used was ZXC let me try here to see what happens and generate here is the generator with the default stable diffusion. Let's change to the custom one we just created. And let's see what shows up. And you see it's a dog similar to that one that we just used to create this custom model. And if I remove this ZXC you can see there are two totally different dog showed up so that's interesting for you to use some odd letters to make your model easier to use I don't know exactly how does it work and I'm using Dreambooth for two days I, I didn't test it that much but I hope it, it's useful Thanks a lot for trying and see you next time.